Chances are, if you do any of these things, I already hate you. Welcome to Glass Mountain Thursdays. I'm your host, Yasmeen. This week, the theme on Glass Mountain is what to or what not to do. So me, being a retail worker, am going to be doing five things not to do in a retail store. The first thing that you should never do in a retail store is mess up something that a retail worker just fixed. At my work, we have an entire wall on the side devoted to t-shirts. These t-shirts, however, are not hung. They are all folded by the retail workers. The number of times that I have folded like three-fourths of the t-shirts and I'm working on one side and someone comes over and messes up all the stuff that I just did, I... It makes me want to punch a baby. Another thing that you should never do in a retail store is yell at the cashier for something not ringing up the price that you thought it was going to be. There's almost a 99.999% chance it is not their fault. The point zero zero one is if they personally marked it wrong. At my work, we have a, whole, a section devoted to like birthday cards and we have a whole section of $1 cards. Even though we have someone come in four times a week to fix the cards, all of the cards get mixed up. So during Christmas season, I had a guy come up to me with a card and I'm checking out his whole order. His whole order ended up being like $200 by the way, which usually at a minimum takes around seven or eight minutes just to ring everything. At the end of his order, I ring up the card and he goes, wait a minute, this card is priced at $3. I'm looking at him like, well yeah. He gets super mad at me for saying that all of our cards are just mixed up together and he throws the card at me and walks out. You should also never ever ever leave things on the ground. If you pick something up, don't put it on the ground. I don't, I will never understand that. In our store, everything ends up on the ground and I have no idea how that happens. It's really not that hard to put something back on a shelf instead of just dropping it. Speaking of putting things back on shelves, put things back where you found them. I understand that sometimes it's really like time consuming because the thing is literally on the other side of the store. The store I work in is really small. Things like pillows and candy are on completely opposite sides of the store and they end up like jumbled together for whatever reason and it's real it's like it's not that far to walk back put it back and then go back to what you were doing it's just like it's super rude like how would you feel if i walked into your house grabbed something and then put it in the wrong spot the last thing and probably one of the most important things on this list is if you have a crying child that is crying because it wants something and you're not giving it to them leave the store. On many, many, many occasions, people have just stood there in line with their screaming children. First off, that's bad parenting. You don't just let your child scream in a store. Second, you're disturbing every single person that is shopping. There was once a lady who stood there in line for 20 minutes and let her child scream for 20 minutes. This is back during like the holiday season where everyone is already like really agitated that they have to go out in these huge crowds and then you add a screaming child for 20 minutes on top of that. I did not have any happy customers. There's just, there's no excuse for it. If I ever see you in a retail store doing any of these things, I'll spit at you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to go back and watch everybody else's video from this week and don't forget to watch the coming videos this week. I will see all of you guys next week. Goodbye.